hi guys in this video we'll discuss how to open a new window or tab using selenium 4 so for that we can make use of the method called new window and we can pass either tab or window to that method now let's go to our practice space so selitech.in slash practice which is the demo page we can make use of so as we navigate below we can see a table with different urls like my goal is to open these url let's say urls in a different tab let's say i want to open it here so i want to store this string into one variable and need to open in a new tab or a window now let's uh, try to automate this for that let, let's first try to inspect that url and try to find its export so as we can see this is present inside a web table so we need to get the table id and then we need to traverse to till this td tag so let's check uh, whether this table is having any unique id so as we can see it's having an id of table one let's copy that id Control f so let's format it with single quotes and just give double slash table and put this id equal to value in a square bracket so now as we can see it identifying the table so next like the data is inside a t body so we can give single slash and the t body so inside the table body we need to identify the rows so we can give single slash tr which will give us the four rows present in the table but the data we want is present in the first row so we can give one inside the square brackets to identify the first row so once we get the row we need to do td to traverse to the columns so inside the first row we have six columns so out of six our data is in the fifth row, fifth column so we can give five inside the square brackets again so this way it will identify the data present in first row fifth column so let's go to the eclipse and try to do the automation in the pom.xml i have added selenium java and webdriver manager and also configured the project with the test engine so let's go to our class file and try to automate using the test engine annotations we can use at the rate before method annotation so we can write the method public void and we can write the method name as setup so we want to do the browser startup inside this method so again we can use at the rate test annotation to write our actual test case logic this should be again a public method with some name we can give it as a test case so once we have set up these two methods let's declare a variable for web driver so we can use web driver and the driver and we can specify a access specifier like private to that variable and using that variable like driver we can create object using web driver manager so instead of writing driver equal to new chrome driver we can make use of web driver manager dot chrome driver dot create so this way also we can able to create an object for the web driver so this will open as a chrome driver now we need to open the url for that we can use get method present inside the web driver for that we need to provide the url that we want to open so which is nothing but the practice url let's give that url let's also write a line for maximizing the browser so manage.window.maximize so these two lines i can either write in the before method as well so but i have written in the test so now let's go to the application so the text we want is in the table so this is the locator we find previously so just make use of that and just create a string variable called url and driver dot find element cube by dot export and the locator that we found so this will return the web element so what we want is the text so we can use get text method to get the url let's try to print with system.out.printer so now uh, our aim is to open that url whatever we have printing in the console in the new window or a tab 
so we can achieve that using driver dot switch to new window so these are the methods present in the cell new so to the new window method we need to provide the window type like the window should be a tab or a window so window type is nothing but is a enum so the enum will accept either window or a tab so we need to provide that to the method so window type dot tab so this way it will open in a new tab so it will open a new tab and switch to the tab so once the tab is open we can open our url whatever we have using driver.get and the url which is the string so this way it will open in a new tab let's try to print the title using driver.get title so that we can confirm whether the page is opened or not because the execution will be very fast and these uh, three lines of code will be useful for opening a new tab and opening the url and getting the title let's run this test case so it should open the url and open a new tab and open the other url see it has successfully completed the case and the test case has been passed and it has printed the url that we have given the system dot out dot print over here and it get the url and it's also printed the title of that url and the test case is passed now let's the, try the same case with the window like just passing the window type as window now so let's save the file and try to execute this now the new url should be opened in a new window instead of new tab so it has opened yeah it successfully opened in a new tab and printed its title as it done previously yeah that's it for the video please do like and subscribe to the channel